Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board certified psychiatrist. So, um, right. You are in a relationship, uh, whatever it is, whether you're, it's a relationship, uh, you're living together, you're married, your partners, whatever it might be, you fight. Uh, and then, uh, and in the heat of anger, you say, well, w maybe we should get a divorce or if you don't like it, get out. Uh, and uh, we take these very aggressive stances. Uh, this is a, a big mistake. If you really, if, if you, if you really don't want to be in the relationship, then threatening divorce, is, is, you know, is probably a good thing because maybe they'll take you up on it sooner or later, or maybe you'll you'll actually talk yourself into it and decide, yes, I should get out of this because I'm really not happy. But if you really don't want to be divorced and you really want to work out uh, the difficulties you're, you're having with your partner then uh, it's not cool to threaten divorce, to say, you know, if it weren't for me, you'd be out on the street, you'd be homeless, you know, you, you, know, if, uh, you know, if you don't listen to me and do what I say, then I'm going to divorce you, and, and then you, you know, you're going to be very unhappy and have a worthless life, and oh, and by the way, I'm going to cut you off from any kind of... Uh, reasonable spouse support and do everything I can in my power to cripple you uh, uh, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. <laughs> Man, if, you, if you're upset with your partner, um, don't threaten divorce because what this does is it makes them feel insecure. It makes them feel unsafe in the relationship. Uh, and uh, and you may think that's good. You may think that'll make them subservient, that will make them compliant, but it just makes them insecure, unhappy, and actually resentful as well. Uh, it, it's much better if you want to be in a relationship, don't add more layers of pain and fear and anger. You know, uh, if you're upset, stick to what you're upset about and don't make threats about divorce because that makes people feel unsafe and they're very possibly uh, might uh, believe you believe that it'll come down to that sooner or later and they may end up uh, you know being attracted to somebody else and, and having some kind of affair with them because they feel that you really don't love them or cherish them and you're just uh, you know uh, you're insensitive to them you're, you're abusive to them and and you don't really want your wife or husband having an affair but you kind of push them into it by your abusive aggressive threatening behaviors so you actually shoot yourself in the foot by saying stupid stuff you don't really mean it's best not to say stupid stuff you don't really mean in the heat of anger uh, which is why i tell people that if you're angry you shouldn't be having a conversation uh, if you're angry uh, you should disengage go away from that person Think about what you, you, you're feeling. Think about why you're really angry. Thinking about, think about what you really want to say. Think about how to say it in a healthy, constructive way. Uh, but if you're angry, you should not be fighting. You should not be arguing. You should not be trying to push through uh, a difficult, uh, conflictive, conflicting situation. You should wait when you have a cooler, calmer head, uh, both of you. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Anger hurts, forgiveness heals. Don't make threats of divorce, bad idea, right? If you don't want a divorce, don't make threats. Find a way to communicate effectively in a loving way to negotiate and compromise so everyone's needs hopefully are met. All right, that's it. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.